All right, so the CDO versus Warzone Hardpoint Tournament just concluded. Figured I'd do a little turning point analysis video for you guys uh, for one of the maps in the finals. Uh, it was just super relevant because it happened today. Some fun content uh, because everyone was just playing for fun with pickup squads. So figured I'd do this little video for you guys. Uh, so let's get right into it. All right, so we're loading into the Embassy Hardpoint. We're going to start with the second rotation, P3, P4, P5. A Raided's team that consisted of Abizi, Raided, Scummin, and Cell. Uh, we're able to break three hills in a row on the team that consisted of Almond, Ghosty, Simp, and Limax. So this was really the turning point in the game. As you can see here, they're down 15 points going into this P3, and we'll take you through what happened. So we're going to start with this P3 rotation. As you see, Team Limax is set up. Uh, we have team rated on the scrap time. And as you see here, Dan Ghosty is going to be playing this back van here. He's going to be blocking these milk spawns once the hill is started. That was a really big thing for a lot of CDL teams. You wanna be blocking this for as long as possible and then eventually give it up once the person dies and the enemy team starts to take control of that area. So they have one guy on hill. Uh, Simp is actually gonna make a play where he tries to help out Dan Ghosty and then Limax is going to be watching uh, this left side. So we'll fast forward it right here. As you see, Dan is kind of just trying to finesse his life as long as possible here. Simp goes and tries to help him out, but in doing so, they kind of spread out way too far uh, for my liking specifically. Uh, I don't really want to get into critiquing too much of team play, obviously, because these are all pickup teams and they never really played with each other before. Uh, especially in respawn, so it's, it's a huge thing for, for chem-wise. So as, as you see, Dan gets one, but Simp dies to rate it on old, which is a super important kill because now number five, BZ, who was pushed up, can now teamwork. Uh, Dan Ghosty with rated here on the left side. They can now take control of these gas milk spawns. As you see, number seven spawns here. Uh, number eight is blocking this palm spawn. So you have the two main spawns over here and over here. And if those two are both blocked by one team, you'll start spawning super, super deep. So that's why number three spawns out so far. And then what Team Rated's team is going to be able to do is just full on try and bash onto the hill with these numbers. Abizi actually gets into another gunfight here, uh, plays his life, and he's able to teamwork with Scummin, who ends up getting the kill. Now it's a basically 3v1 on hill, and they can just completely bombard this guy. Good job of number eight cell playing these spawners, uh, playing these cutoff kills, because by doing that, he's blocking all the reinforcements from trying to help on uh, Almond on the hill and Scummin is able to get this kill on the hill. So as you guys can see, since this spawn is not being blocked anymore by the red team, blue is going to be spawning there. So what a BZ can actually do is turn around for this. He's a little late on it and does die, uh, but his teammates are still helping him out because Cell is still playing these kills for uh, number three simp who actually tried to break through, uh, get a kill and go through orange here. And he can just watch over Seven's uh, front P1 slash orange side. Unfortunately, he does have inside orange. So uh, number two, Dan Ghosty can actually hit the hill right now. And he actually does get a kill for it. And while Dan is doing that, Limax has a free play on these guys back alley. He should have a two piece, should have killed Cell here. I'm not sure how he didn't, uh, but Rated does have Cell's help. And the red team is still able to start hold holding the rest of this scrap time from that. You definitely do want to be spawning uh, towards these gas spawns for the most part. So once they are able to spawn through there, they can take routes to try and hit the hill. You know, that should have easily been the break for Limax. Uh, but for some reason, he doesn't get that kill on Cell. And that's going to actually cost them later on in this game. I'll show you why. So as you guys can see, red team is holding this scrap. Blue is going to be spawning inside this new P4 hill. The big thing for them here is to start playing super tight. Uh, in these P4s, you know, close the doors, be super ratty, play these corners because you want to make sure that uh, you can hold this hill because you weren't able to hold that previous hill and you don't want to be getting chained back to back on two breaks. But uh, we'll, we'll fast forward here onto this break for team rated. Scumman has a free play here. He can try and disrupt uh, this initial setup by blue and he ends up dying for it. So it's not a bad play. It's just a risk that you need to be taking, especially when your team's on scrap. So he's just gonna be spawning backup gas anyways, as you can see here, and he's gonna have another breaking opportunity. And I wanna focus on this gunfight specifically on this uh, top side because Raided makes an absolutely huge kill on Almond. It's probably the biggest gunfight of this entire game, if we're being completely honest, uh, because with this kill, he creates a super annoying 
difficult position for Team Limax. And uh, on the other side of the map, Team Abizi. Abizi is actually going to be making a play through P2 here. Good job by Abizi for playing his life here because uh, he wants to be working this first initial push onto the new hill as a team. The previous one, Scummin did have some time to spawn up and get back into the fight. As you guys can see here, he's going to be going into this new break with the team. Uh, but here, if Abizi would have died, it's a little bit more mixy. But here, they're all able to stay alive. And as you guys can see, Raided in a position to break. Scummin going to be in a position to break. Abizi going to be in a position to break. And they have three guys on Team Limax that they're going to need to get through uh, to break onto this hill. And as you guys can see, a BZ huge kill that he had help with Gummin actually. So even if Limax would have got that kill on a BZ, these guys teamwork him super well. And now it's a 4v2 on hill, blocking the back spawns, blocking any close uh, tennis spawn. And now number one Almond is going to spawn all the way out back gas. This is the worst position that you could possibly be in for Team Limax uh, with, by spawning out back here, especially once the hill just popped. 4v2 on hill uh, should be an easy break if they played it, play it well. Team uh, Rated is actually going to break this super, super easily. Uh, they wait for each other. You see Rated not challenging the hill right away, waiting for number 7 and 5, even waiting for number 8. Uh, number 7 goes in, he would have had the trade from number 8 anyways. And they just worked that pretty perfectly. So really good break out of Team Rated. And that's, you know, two breaks in a row now. And this was a, right at the start of the hill. So really unfortunate situation for Team Limax here. And from this, look at what Team Rated is going to be doing. Playing super tight, super ratty. Cell's in this corner. Seven is going to be in this corner watching the back door. Number five is going to be at these desks here in the middle of the gap. And you know, Warzone kids are not going to be checking the ultra mega credits. So uh, Abizi should have a kill on Limax here. And what do you know? He does. Limax doesn't check the credit. Cell gets a kill on the other side of the hill. But it's actually a 2v2 on hill with number six spawning out. Good job on Dan waiting in the back here for his team to break. And by staying alive here, he can now teamwork with number three, Simp. And Simp actually gets a huge three piece to break back onto this hill. But once again, these reinforcements keep coming from these spawners. Unfortunately, Rated gets a two piece with the sub. Good job on Rated for pulling out a sub here. Obviously an AR player, but especially on P4 and P5, those were hills that a lot of teams would pull out a third sub for, and sometimes even a fourth sub. And so good job on him for noticing that in the moment, pulling out the sub, and now he's just holding super tight with his team. As you guys can see, number seven, number six, and number five all playing their ones, uh, playing super tight, and can help the hill if needed. Uh, unfortunately for Team Rated, number seven actually chows out of this. You really, if you're playing inside this hill, you might as well play in the hill. You don't really want to be chowing in the stairway just because it's a choke point that the other team needs to funnel through. So there's no point for you to challenge out into it when they have to be the ones to take initiative to go through those, you know, tight doorways. So uh, not the best play out of scum in there, but, you know, Warzone player, I'm not going to give him uh, shit for it, obviously. Uh, so he dies there to, to Dan Ghosty and another break comes on in. So a little bit of a mixy hill, which, you know, this sometimes is with the constant breaks from reinforcers. But what this does is it's a more trade fest, as you guys can see, Team rated again with a huge two piece here. I believe it's, yeah, it's Cell with a huge two piece on Dan Ghosty and Almond. He gets the last 20 seconds for his team while his teammates are also spawning out. So one guy does spawn in the back, but number seven and number six were also spawning out. So they're just playing their lives on the rotation, trying to get any possible kills, but most importantly, stay alive. In those situations, you really just want to keep that forward pressure on the rotation so that you can work a break with your team once they come off ult. So any forward pressure that you can maintain is good forward pressure. As you can see here, number six rated, he's already in the new hill and he's just gonna keep playing his life gas. Super good play out of rated, uh, staying alive here. Number seven, good job by Scummin. Just trying to be annoying, getting any possible kills that he can get. You know, he can have free reign to do this because number six is staying alive over here. And he's just trying to be a super big nuisance for the squad. And you know, if he could stay alive for a little bit longer with number five coming off old, these are big rotational kills. Unfortunately, he does end up dying to number two who just had spawned in the tennis court here. So 
he does uh, die on the rotation, similar to how he did on the previous one. But it was good risk that he was taking. You know, with Rated staying alive here, as I said, he has that free reign to start taking a little bit of risk and trying to go for some kills to disrupt this rotation for uh, Team Limax. So Abizi knows that he can play this cross because he knows at least one guy is in orange because Scum and died there. Plus, he should know that they, sh they should be spawning around this area uh, to begin with because of the end of the hill. So what he can do is actually play these kills. So he does try and play the kill. He does get super bad timing on Dan Ghosty here. And Dan Ghosty actually even gets a uh, bad time on him by looking towards red. Uh, and he's actually able to get into the P5 with his life. So uh, I think he ends up killing Simp here. Yeah, he, he does kill Simp. So it's a one for one on what should have been probably uh, a one for zero for a Team Limax. Uh, but both players get super weird timing and he does get the kill on the hill. This now can activate Rated who is still playing his life uh, back gas here over here. Again, super good play and he's going to get rewarded for it. You know, D Dan is not expecting someone to be this close to hill. So Rated is, ends up getting a kill. It's super nice. Uh, opportunity for another break to come on in for team rated you know they broke that p3 they broke that p4 and now they're creating more opportunities to to break especially on this p5 so really good job on team rated you know without having any sort of cam they are breaking super well together and as you guys can see number four ends up getting the trade but eight and seven are here for another break attempt and what's really interesting about this situation for team rated is you know team limax is going to be spawning either back orange or back PD, uh, depending on where number seven was here, they're, they're gonna be spawning back PD. And what happens now is if you're spawning, especially uh, in these orange spawns, or you're in this position where Almon is right now, it's super hard if you don't have someone on the palm tree heady playing this cross uh, towards P1, because anyone that might be trying to reinforce the hill from the red team, is going to have to cross the, this path, whether it's through P1 or through uh, laundry or, or through the deep side, they're going to have to cross at some point. So if you don't have anyone watching that cross, you can get into a really bad situation where the red team might be pushed up into places like this, this box over here and watching the P1 cross from that side. So anyone that might be trying to reinforce this way onto the hill is gonna get completely crossed uh, from that guy black box. So. Uh, or even what Scummin did here where you actually already crossed P1 but are still able to play this cross. So we'll see what happens here. Uh, number eight is actually going to get caught out by number one, Almond here. So Almond was playing in orange, does get that free kill, but number seven should be there for the trade. He does exactly that, gets that kill. Really good job on number five, Abizi here for playing uh, spawners and playing this cross. So he knows that there's a possibility for them to be spawning in PD. And if you take this hall route, uh, anyone that's spawning P2 or back P2 here can meet them up and start crossing this way. So he gets a, a really easy pick onto his teammate Simp. And from this, uh, number seven has an opportunity to break too, and he actually does that. I'm not sure what Limax was doing. I think if we rewind it back, you know, he tries to close the doors and starts reloading, but you really should have your gun up if there's a possibility for them to get back into the hill like that. Unfortunately, uh, Warzone player again, so he probably doesn't know the timings like that. So number eight actually spawns P1 super close to the hill. Uh, you wouldn't really expect it, but it's last guy alive back alley here. So once again, another break for team rated P3, P4, and P5, all three in a row chained breaks for this team. And look at the setup now. This should be a really good hold out of the team, all four down. Uh, as you can see, number eight was blocking the orange spawn for a little bit. So these guys are going to spawn PD. For Rated here, he's actually going to play spawn killers. Uh, he does see this guy. Um, unfortunately, like this is probably a mini map critique, but I would try and just play towards uh, the P5 to help out your team here with these guys now spawning uh, orange. He, he probably doesn't realize in the very moment that number uh, four Cell died and that spawn isn't being blocked anymore, so they can spawn there. Actually, Cell does die to a team stun, unfortunately. So Rated is still going to be playing uh, for this number three kill but he really should be helping his team out here. And you know, technically, if let's say he got to that black box, like what I was talking about, he'd be crossing all of these guys all day and getting kills for that. Um, and this gives a team Limax an opportunity to break. He does get the kill on the spawner, uh, but they have an opportunity to break here. But actually team blue is taking just way too much time on this break. These guys should have already been in the hill and starting to break on in, but number six is able to even get this kill and have this cross still uh, without going to it right away, 
Uh, he gets one kill. They end up trading in the hill, and Limax actually somehow ends up alive. He's gonna get killed from Raided here though. So really big kills out of Raided once again, you know, really taking advantage of that slow break attempt out of Team Limax. And you know, they're still holding this hill. P1 spawns out of the blue team. Number seven is gonna get a blessed spawn behind them. So he sees them trying to go through laundry. Uh, good job out of Simp for looking for this. And again, another good cross play out of BZ watching uh, for anyone that might be trying to cross through P1 or through laundry to hill and he can get at least one kill, at least get the information on the other two guys to help raid it out. Say, you know, they're coming laundry, they're coming laundry. He can get his gun up. Unfortunately, he doesn't get that either. Uh, it should have been a kill, but you know, backline Cell is playing on his belly, making sure that he's staying alive, not going in the hill to try and bait them into the hill. And he actually does get one onto Amon here. Last guy alive is his teammate Simp, and he dies to him, but again, the trades are in. Super mixy fest right now, but again, majority time does go to team rated so what happened to be what was it a 15 20 point lead for the team limax they're now in a deficit where they're down 50 plus points with team rated 231 going to that last p1 uh, they end up winning on the p2 so that was the turning point of this hard point but i hope you guys enjoyed this little fun video on the cdl versus warzone hard point finals a uh, little breakdown for you guys so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one